Hey guys, what's up? How are we doing? Oh, I'm a performer, so I'm gonna do that. How are you doing, guys? You could be louder than that. That's my mom in the corner. I can hear you from a mile away. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good? All right, so I need a show of hands. How many people here have ever felt overwhelmed about the idea of not knowing what direction their life will go in? Put them up, mom, stick it up. Two hands, she goes two hands. That's because of me. <laughs> okay, good, you're not alone. My name is Sarah Barrios, and ever since I was a little girl, I wanted to be a singer. I would play guitar with my dad and sing the Beatles, quite horribly, might I add, uh, into a microphone stand pretending that I was playing in front of thousands of people. Every second felt like magic because all I was focused on was that moment. Years later, at 19, I experienced a pretty significant what now moment. A long-term high school relationship that I thought would last forever ended. And along with that, I started to question whether or not the college major that I had selected was really one that I felt passionate about. But then I thought back to something that my dad once told me. He said, Sarah, that's not how he talks, I don't know why I said it like that. He said, Sarah, life throws both good and bad things your way. So, whatever you choose to do, make sure it's something that you love even when it's hard. This is a photo of me and my dad on my college campus. It was around this time that I decided to drop out of school completely and, focused on high, and focus on music full term. So then my dad said, I see, uh, what now? Good question, dad. Um, what now? What do I do? It was like the idea of what now in my head was really, how do I plan for my future? What does it look like? And as I started working, getting appearances on American Idol or playing at the Troubadour in Los Angeles or even here at TED Talks, I found myself asking that same question. What now? But the thing is, guys, I don't know. I have no idea if I will get a record deal or get to perform on a TV show. And as someone who deals with pretty severe anxiety, the idea of not knowing is literally the worst thing in the world, aside from stepping on a Lego with bare feet. I have two young brothers, it's the worst thing. <laughs> but there's no way to be 100% certain as to how your life is gonna turn out. Today, I am a 22-year-old singer, songwriter, and musician. I've learned to embrace the idea and the question of what now with all of its potential uncertainty and live in the present moment. And I offer that to you guys. What now? What can you do right now to help you achieve your aspirations? Can you set goals? Can you make schedules? Can you reach out and actively ask for help? I personally am a lists person. My family calls me the post-it note queen. I wrote everything, lists, people that I need to know, things I need to do, song ideas, milk and eggs. <laughs> things that I need to do, I put them on post-it notes and they are covering my entire house, but that's what works for me. So think about what works for you. What can you do right now to help you pursue your dreams? because I find that working to the best of your ability and to the hardest ability in the present is the most effective way to move step by step towards a successful future. So the question of what now, the truest answer to that question is to focus on this now, right now. And right now, I'd like to play you a tune. See that segue? That's so good. setting up my microphone, I had to like keep bringing it down even shorter and shorter. So I'm 22, but I have the body of a 14 year old boy. So a win. So this song is an original song. Um, it's called Declaration of Love. And it's kind of about the idea of the fact that being kind to people is kind of taboo now. It's like weird, I don't know what is going on. Um, <laughs> but the idea of being nice to people is kind of taboo. And I kind of mixed it with the idea of you know, if you, for example, my brother had a birthday the other day and I didn't wish him happy birthday online. If you didn't wish them a happy birthday online, do you really love them? No, probably not. It's that idea of in order to have a relationship with somebody, you have to be talking online to them. 
And so I wanted to kind of incorporate that. So this is Declaration of Love. I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> Take strength and give some be kind. Don't judge every. 